Hello friends, welcome to the 34th episode of Joomla 2.5 Custom Component Development Series. In the previous episode, we have seen how to create view in your backend component. In this episode, we will see how to use view layout file in your component. So in the previous episode, we have just uh, echo some text inside the display function. That's why uh, we can see this one uh, in the backend. Welcome to the my chat view. Now in this episode we will use one layout file. So in Joomla there is some default layout and uh, you can override the default layout. The default layout is default dot php. So where it is located inside your views tmpl then default dot php. So if you want to create and different layout for your view like our view is my chat so we have to create a tmpl folder so let's views my chat here create a folder called tmpl inside tmpl create a file default.php so default.php okay now we will write text welcome to default template layout save let's um, go to the backend and refresh this page oh, let me log in so still we cannot see our text so what is the reason because we have not told our parent class jview that follow our layout file so we have to tell the parent class so parent display now let's check what is the problem so refresh this page now we can see welcome to the default layout page so this content is displaying but one more thing we have to display that we have to specify template file so you cannot see the warning but uh, there is uh, some warning so you have to be syntax like this you are telling that Joomla please display the default layout and default layout is located tmpl default dot php page okay that's why when I am visiting to the view page my chat Joomla automatically calling the view my chat and my chat when the parent display function calling it looks for default layout page because we have not mentioned the template that this is the layout template that's why it search for under tmpl default and he found and that's why we're getting this output okay and similarly you have to protect the default layout file from outside access by checking the defined underscore jexcc or die access deny okay so echo welcome to default layout okay so let's refresh this page it's working now where we will specify the j toolbar title we will specify the j toolbar title here like j toolbar title my chat so let's save this and run so let's refresh oh sorry have made some mistake j toolbar helper helper save and refresh your backend page so here you can see my toolbar title is also appearing and previous uh, tutorial i have uh, explained that how to change this icon and lots of stuff so you can apply this technique to this page view.html okay so we have successfully created our uh, layout file and it's working now how do you create different different layout file so 
so let's um, I want another layout file let's call it uh, default test okay so if you uh, let's specify here layout file so dollar tpl equal to test okay now check in the browser what is happening now go to the browser and refresh this page so now here you can see layout default underscore test is not found that means we have to create this file default underscore your template file name so you want to create an template file for your view like test so you must have to create default underscore test inside tmpl folder underscore test dot php so if you want to create template layout file test layout so you have to create this file name so let's create and check so default underscore test dot php okay so welcome to test layout save remove this text save now if I refresh this page now we are getting welcome to test layout page but we are not getting the default layout page because we have mentioned our layout file if we mention the default save and refresh this page now we are sorry it should be null null so refresh we are getting the default layout so how do we call the different layout from the URL because we cannot mention this layout here so user cannot able to uh, run different layout so we can specify from the URL so let's delete this so now if I refresh the back end so I'm getting the default layout now we can mention the layout in the task so ampersand layout equal to test let's refresh layout equal to test so welcome to test layout so here we can uh, overwrite like a dollar tpl equal to j our request get cmd because this is a command so layout equal to something if not found then we will specify null so what happened if the layout is exist then it will look for the that layout if not exist it will display the default layout so let's save and run in the browser so let's run so now we are getting that welcome to test layout but if we have not mentioned the layout so let's refresh we are getting default layout so in this way you can control different different layout for your single view so what is the benefit uh, of different layout so let's say you have created a uh, subscription page subscription view so subscription view oh sorry subscription view now for logged user you want to show some different and for not logged user like um, let's say you have a downloads view now you have two types of user that is logged user and not logged user okay so you want to display lo for logged user you want to display some other uh, layout template file or other things and for guest you want to display other so here you can check and display like like if j factory get user ID greater than zero that means the user is logged in so here dollar TPL equal to sorry dollar TPL equal to logged user TMP logged user downloads 
downloads else tmpl equal to guest user download and you will create and for this reason you will create default underscore this dot php inside the template folder and default underscore guest download dot php so in your same view to different template file will call that's the benefit of different different layout file so thank you for watching this tutorial and if you have any question any suggestion just write your comment below this video and please subscribe to my channel thank you have a good day